My Chemical Romance esiintyy tänä iltana Hartwell Areenalla ja tuolla on ulkopuolella ihan hulluna faneja odottamassa tätä keikkaa ja meillä on haastattelussa yhteystä laulaja Gerard Way ja kitaristi Frank Iero. Uh, hi guys, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm just fine, how are you Frank? I'm good. Uh, when we arrived here with them, we saw a lot of fans which were queuing on, on the arena and they would like to ask a couple of questions okay. from you guys. Sure. Is okay. that okay? No, minkälaista tää Suomessa on ollut? Oh, um, well, what was cool is we flew in yesterday, so we had a little bit of time off, and it was, I, I think it was really nice to see the snow, but he gets too much snow back home, so for me, I was excited, but, <laughs> yeah. you know. I had time traveled back to New Jersey when I left for tour, because I was like, I was shoveling like six feet of snow before, like, to, to leave the house to go to tour, <laughs> and then I got here, I was like, no, not back. <laughs> Yeah. Last night, apparently, the uh, I don't know if it's on this uh, hemisphere, the mm -hmm. part of the world, but uh, in America, I think um, the Earth was the closest it's been to the Moon in like 18 years. So basically, it was like really, really huge, really bright, and had this like crazy halo around it. Oh, yeah. oh. I was looking for pictures of it, but like I went outside to go see it, and then like the Moon was on the other side of the hotel. Right. And I was so cold. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck the Moon!" Like <laughs> I just went back inside. Yeah. <laughs> Niin, mä haluaisin kysyä Frankille, että kuinka monta koiraa silloin. Oh man, a lot. Um, it's like seven or eight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mitä te teette ekana keikan jälkeen? Well, it's the last one, so um, I think we'll probably get everybody together that was on the tour. It would be maybe nice to take a picture or something. And you know, I'll hang out together after everybody's done with loadout and we're all changed. And that'd be really nice. We'll just say and then I think we're all flying out you know so we're just gonna hang out at the hotel together I'm sure all of us and trying to fit stuff in a bag yeah <laughs> man it's not gonna happen <laughs> are you excited to go back home yes very yeah we're dying to see our kids you know well El Nema Boris Ned Mila Days to the music I don't know he's got a better story than <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, my dad played drums. My grandfather played drums. Uh, so they wanted me to be a drummer. I just, I just wanted to be in a band. Uh, ever since I was a little kid. So I've been in bands since I was like 11 years old, and uh, played anything I could, I could get my hands on, basically. So. What's the weirdest thing? A saxophone. Okay. I thought it was shiny, so I wanted to play it. <laughs> and then, pretty. yeah. Then I realized that you couldn't smoke cigarettes and play it. Yeah. So I was like, ah. Oh, well. Yeah, I get a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No story. Um, yeah, I think it, it's something I definitely, I always loved and kind of secretly, and it's definitely something I kind of just fell into, you know. Um, but, you know, I did get a guitar for my 10th birthday, an acoustic, and I, I just kind of taught myself, and, you know, um, I always knew how to sing for some reason, so I just kind of gravitated towards it. I don't know why, you know. It wouldn't have necessarily been what I chose, per se, mm -hmm. but, it, but I knew I loved doing it, and I... I felt like I was decent at it, so that's why I do it today. You know, I feel like I kind of have to do it. It's not so much. So sometimes you have you know stuff people want to do, but there's things you feel like you have to do, and that's mm -hmm. what I feel about music. I have to say, uh, as far as the thank you for making the one of the best albums of 2010. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. Yeah. It was so great. It was so refreshing to hear that uh, your new sound because it's it's uh, it got bits of the old sound of MCR, some punky and raw style, and there's some electro bits and some dancey and and just pure rock and roll. So it was so refreshing sound. Oh, good. That was our that was our plan with the record. That's what we had hoped would happen. You know, to to jam up kind of an ag aggressive but melodic sound with like you know these electronics and. We wanted you to be able to dance throughout the whole record. Have you ever put the record on and tried it, that can you dance to Trying all to of them? <laughs> while, while we were making it the, the entire time, I think Braytor had this secret um, strobe light that I would tell him, to, oh, just please put it that way because like, it's giving me a headache and he would just take it out sometimes and turn it on and shut all the lights off and then just play planetary yeah. and just <laughs> jump up and down. Yeah, it was great. It's it's, yeah, the whole, yeah, definitely would dance a lot while making an album. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And you are much more colorful now, mm -hmm. but uh, can you see the difference in the audience? Are they dancing much more than usual and are they more colorful? Absolutely, yeah, like they are exactly what we had wanted, it feels like they had wanted, and what we'd hoped would happen, happens. So it's all this color, and, and I still love 
you know, looking out and seeing a kid in a black parade jacket too, though, because it it makes sense together. It actually works together. And I, like, I think I saw a kid on this tour crowd surfing in one, and it made me smile. It was kind of like you think of your past for a second. But everybody's right now mostly very future forward, and and mm -hmm. the show is about having a great time and dancing and expressing yourself. So, quite the party. Yeah. And we are going to have a great party tonight. I believe so. I so. <laughs> Sounds good. And I have to say that when I listen to the record. Uh, it feels like I'm jumping into a ball pool and there's a few piranhas with me. Oh, uh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> it feels like that. <laughs> Those ones are usually very uh, uh, germ germy, so <laughs> I hope it's a good ball pit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, if you talk about the future now, uh, and, and if we listen to the Danger Days album, it, it, I get a sense that you are quite worried about the future now, and, and especially now. Yeah when the world, state of the world is of what it is. But are you worried about the future? I don't think it's a worry. I think it's more like, well, if this kind of thing did happen, this is just like the way we see it. Or I think, I, personally, very positive. Like, I think that's why there's so much color. Like, even though there's radiation and everything's kind of, you know, a bit destroyed outside of California and they built this utopian city, I, I kind of, there's still a hope in there, you know, I think. Um, so I'm, I think I'm very positive for the future. I, I think I'm basically, trying to say like you know even if there was an apocalypse I think it'll be okay <clears throat> still be dancing still be dancing yep. yeah you will be the band playing when the world is going to end <laughs> yeah. I hope not <laughs> 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 okay the, the road to get to this point that you are you have made this great album it's it has been very very long and mm -hmm. and how do you feel now when the time has passed a bit the record pre record pre-Danger Days record that you had to oh. what are we we're, we're thinking about that mm. one that we scrapped? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm, I'm very glad that we didn't put it out, only because it, it's not the trip we wanted to take and not the adventure we wanted to have because we're having a lot of fun now. So I'm glad we scrapped it and then so let's have fun and make a fun adventure for ourselves and go out and see the world in a new way. Yeah. yeah. We had a long ride the other day and um, I put on some of those songs. I was just listening on headphones and I was like, there's a couple of little gems here and there, but it, as far as a, as a record goes, like I, was, I put it down, I was like, right decision, <laughs> <laughs> did the right thing. So that record, it doesn't haunt you anymore. Um, you know, I think there, there's, it's a, it was a moment in time. Uh, I think it'd be fun for kids to hear eventually some of the stuff off it. I think, uh, like I said, I think there's maybe uh, three songs that I'm still like, oh wow, those were really great songs, you know, that that are there, but they're still there, you know, they're on my iPod, yeah, maybe. <laughs> you should make some Danger Days EP for for those songs. Well, we um, we thought it, we talked a lot about any other kind of recording we could do, um, still in the vein of Danger Days, like we talked about doing a remix album or a Mad Gear Missile Kid EP, and we definitely talked about extending the life of Danger Days somehow musically. So hopefully we'll get to do that, you know. Can you remember the turning point when you realized that, oh my god, this, this is not working, we have to start all over again? Well, there's a few. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's uh, definitely some early warning signs too, right? Yeah. I mean, we, we kind of didn't finish, like, we kind of ran out of time. I remember there was a day where all our shit was just in a box <laughs> at the door, and we were like, oh, I guess we're done here. <laughs> and then we had to go to the mixing studio, and... Uh, you know, I remember being in mixing and still like coming up with ideas and like writing stuff and then and like adding stuff to it. And I was like, wow, we're not done. Like, you know, th these songs aren't done. Um, but we're mixing and we're doing press about it, so we must be done. And then uh, and then taking a break from that and then and and going to Rob's and and writing four songs was like that was huge. And it was like, wait, these are the songs that we want. You know, not. That the year and a half that we've been, you know, like kind of leading up, everything's been leading up to this. Mm -hmm. So that was that was the huge turning point. Okay. And and when you started uh, again and working on that Danger Days album, and you had no rules, so yeah. was it frightening to have no rules and you you know I can I can try anything? Oh, that was the best. That was really liberating. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we were afraid of of you know, continuing to work on an album at, uh, with the previous attempt that had rules. That was scary. But then when there was no more, it was actually the scarier, the better. Like when we got to something like, for example, like Planetary or Sing or Planetary being this big dance song, like that's pretty scary. And that was the stuff that really got us excited. You know. 
What was the song when you realized that, okay, this is, this is the way we have to go? It was Sing. Sing was the fourth song. Yeah. Actually, the fifth song. The first song didn't, didn't make it to, it didn't actually get born. Uh, the, first, the first song that, that finished was Nana, and the second one was, uh, was Vampire Money, that was Planetary, and Sing. Yeah, once Sing was done. Everybody is loving the kill choice now, uh, but how did those alter egos were born? Well, you know, it really just started as names for the guns, and that's kind of how I saw it. It just, we were trying to figure out how to end the video, so we just flashed the names on people's faces. Like, people started calling us by our gun names, like, just as, it's just, just as an easy point of reference, but that's all it is. It's really just supposed to be, like, we've named our pistols, really, our laser guns, and... Um, but I, I see those characters as not as alter egos, just us in 2019, if that's the way the shit went down, you know. As I said, the characters are quite strong already, and the music videos that you have done are amazing. So I'm just thinking about that. Should you maybe do some short film or even even a movie of, of that? Yeah, I mean, we definitely talked about it. Um, it's it's kind of fun to, to do that, uh, to be in that world and... Mm -hmm. and and just living it on camera and stuff like that. And a lot of that stuff was, you know, very spontaneous, just like kind of that day, like, hey, blow this thing up. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, right, right. Um, right. But uh, I think we are definitely going to do a, a third installment uh, as far as the videos go and kind of finish that story up. Um, I think if we were going to do a, a short film or like a mini series type thing, I think uh, I think it'd be really awesome to do, but I think it would be uh, very time consuming yeah. and we would be, we would be very in involved in it. Yeah. 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 So. We would have to be holed up for a couple of months doing that. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. And it's like we want to do so much. We love doing so many different things. That yeah, I would love to go do that right now. And then, but I, we would also go love to make a record, and we'd love to play shows. So it's we don't have the time. You know, it's a drag. But do you have something else planned uh, outside of touring and making music? Um, we're talking about something right now, but we we can't really talk more yeah. about it. <laughs> We haven't. Well, you're in Finland. We haven't. Uh, we, yeah, like this isn't gonna be on the internet. Um, we've got. Uh, yeah, we have an idea right now for something that I think fans might have been wanting for some time. Okay. That we're talking about, like you know, something that they've maybe been hoping for. We're discussing. You're being mysterious now. <laughs> you recorded your record very long, and you have to struggle to some stuff that many, many bands have to do. So you had some lineup changes. Mm -hmm. uh, so Bob has left the, left the band. And how do you feel about Bob's departure now? We don't really talk about it because we can't. And it's out of respect for everybody in this situation and other matters. So we, can't, we, don't, we don't talk about it. You know? But we're, we're you know, playing shows and mm -hmm. having a great time playing shows. Mm -hmm. But you are a whole band and you are feeling good about your oh, band yeah. now. And yeah. everything is going well with the tour drummer and everything yeah yeah i mean and you know because we have james deweese who we've been with now for it's going on six years yeah so, so yeah. um and then michael Petacon we've known for a really long time so we have a lot of fun up there you know and everybody's got each other's back and we just you know we, we really enjoy every night every night is very different up there and it's really cool 